back in England with the Black Caps, so just join the team. Good to be back? Yeah, it's awesome to be back and um, see the lads. They've obviously come back from a good test win, so guys are quite chipper and there's a little couple of rounds of golf going on at the moment. Rest for the bowlers, which is good, but good to get back into training today with a one-day squad. Seeing the boys, bit of, bit of banter flying around? Or? Yeah, there always is. There's always uh, a lot of banter you know, towards my direction, probably because I'm one of the older members of the squad. <laughs> and uh, I see today that you've just been named the Wellington Sportsman of the Year. Um, it's a bit of an honour. Yeah, it's obviously quite humbling to receive those individual accolades and just a pity I couldn't be there um, in the evening to celebrate it with all my Firebirds mates. Um, very passionate about Wellington as a city, so yeah, re re really cool accolade. Is it is it tough? Do people bring up that semi-final at Eden Park all the time still, or you know, is it starting to kind of wane off a little bit? Um, yeah, I, th I think it is something that, you know, uh, in the memories of a lot of New Zealanders and obviously the whole country followed it, but uh, it's, uh, as much as the World Cup was a fantastic journey for, for the team and for the country, you know, we sort of, we have to move on from that and we've got one day series coming up against England. Um, they've got a, a new squad, so we're going to have to be on the top of our game to, to come up tops and during that series. I've seen the Nets are giving Nathan McCullum a bit of commentary about his batting in the Nets. Uh, you, you fancy yourself as a bit of a commentator? Definitely not, no. <laughs> don't put me anywhere near the commentary box. I've, I've done it a little bit, but I don't think that'll be me. <laughs>